looking to buy a timeless family home in Blue Valley, Gulf Estate. Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today, we are back in this beautiful lifestyle estate with listing agent Marusha from Luxlive Property Group. Specs on the house. This is a five bedroom, five and a half bathroom, three garage home. Without further ado, Marusha. Thank you very much. Well, it's an absolute pleasure to be in Blue Valley. It is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful Gulf Estate. This house is on the green belt, on the 13th hole, which means we're getting the beauty of the Gulf Estate in front of basically all of the living rooms and two of the bedrooms. So let's go and have a look. It is a breathtaking house. What's really great is that we have the water feature in the middle here. It invites your visitor in, but it also gives you that calming effect of the water. And I believe it's a, a touch of Feng Shui as well to have the running water. The roses are framing your walkway through into the entrance hall, nice and double volume. And then we step into the actual entrance hall of the house, framed by this gorgeous Cinderella staircase, beautiful double volume, stunning crystal chandelier, and immediately from the entrance, we see the beauty of the golf course and the green belt that this house is situated on. So everything about this house is natural light, the beauty of the golf course, the beauty of the estate, and big, generous rooms throughout. The house was built by the owners that are currently here. They uh, had family in mind, so the rooms are big enough to house large uh, pieces of furniture and also not to feel too cramped when you have all the kids and all their friends and so on. So what we've done now is we've walked through the entrance and we walked into what I would call the family room right here. You can put a small table like uh, what they've done right now or you can put even a large dining room table if you so desire. And immediately to my left is one of the multiple lounges. This is the TV room, the way it's been set up right now. A touch of crystal again with the chandelier. And this room is heated by a gas fireplace, which is a two-sided gas fireplace. And it leads to the formal lounge around the corner here, which you can access from your TV room or from the entrance hall as well. It's currently actually blocked off, you know, it's child-proofing, and in their case, puppy-proofing, just to keep it nice and clean. What speaks better about family is uh, this massive bowl of sweets. I think I'm gonna tuck in shortly, immediately after finishing the tour. Great room here, and I wanna go out first, because to me, this house is all about living out. We have folding doors that take us into I would say now we've pretty much seen two lounges. We're now into lounge number three. This is actually the patio area, but because you have the blinds here that you can close off and uh, you've got the view of the golf course, this is your outdoor, indoor entertainment room. Built-in braai, built-in bar area, and of course, the view of the golf course. Absolutely fantastic. This stand is also elevated, so you have really beautiful views, not only of the golf course, but also of the rooftops. And as far as the eye can see, it's just greenery and um, the blue skies. Nice garden. And just to point out here, we've got a massive swimming pool and we have a massive basement underneath. And that basement is completely waterproof and it has a lounge um, bedroom and a bathroom with a shower, which can double up as the staff quarters, or it can be a playroom, and someone even suggested turning it into a cinema room. So a bonus room, I would call it. So far, so good. I think I'm quite impressed with the proximity to the green. It literally is, you're on the green. We've done a lot of tours of properties, green belt, family homes, and I must say, this is, yeah, you can literally throw your balls into the place or onto the field. And speaking of balls, very important when you live on a golf course, you wanna know, do balls come into your house? And this house doesn't get any balls, okay? So you are safe from golf balls. Your head is safe. 
Um, this I call the formal dining room area. Remember I was mentioning put a massive dining room table right here, but you can have a formal dining room area here. They've already built in this uh, mirror cupboard to display all your beautiful crystals. There is an aircon as well. So absolutely stunning room and it's tucked away, but at the same time it's part of the open plan space. I think we're gonna do the kitchen first because this is all about entertainment and then we're gonna start with the bedrooms. Massive kitchen because we've just been talking about all the friends and the big family you're going to have. So this kitchen is in mint condition. They've created quite a lot of countertop space and they've created a breakfast nook space here with the white um, Caesar stone and they've contrasted it with black Caesar stone right next to it. This is um, electric stove top and a ton of more counter space throughout this kitchen with also huge amount of cupboards and drawers throughout the space. And this kitchen also has a scullery and a separate laundry room. So they did not spare any s square meters in this house. And the house is already 700 square meters. So a lot of this has gone into this beautiful kitchen. Black and white, very dramatic. They've included some spotlights. The Caesar stone here also has a bit of crystal built into it. And uh, of course, this is all about entertaining. So we've got a nice big stove here. And I'm just gonna mention massive scullery here. And I'm still going, and I'm still going into the laundry room. So they, they've made this very comfortable space. Open plan, that's what comes to mind when I see this. Entertaining, family, big families. Plenty of room for everyone to sit, to entertain, to play. Very nice, this is, I like this. Especially given its location and the price. As always, we'll make sure to have all the details below this video, so go and have a look. Marouche's details will be there as well. Absolutely, and it is price to go, so absolutely it's a fantastic price. Huge pantry, I really, I love the fact that you have so much space, but I'm amazed at how tidy it is. It really, uh, they, they've taken a lot of care into presenting their pantry in the best possible way as well. We'll make sure your husband and my wife don't get to see this or they're gonna get ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst culprit, yeah. Okay, so now we're back into that center room, which is that family room that I spoke about. Let's quickly take a look at the fifth bedroom downstairs and then we'll head towards the formal lounge area. All of the bedrooms are super generous and the design of this house, it's very symmetrical. So each corner of the house will have a bedroom or an, a nice big room. So this is the fifth bedroom. We have an aircon as well. So there was an aircon in the dining room. There's an aircon in the bedroom. This one is en suite with a shower and an absolutely pristine bathroom. No need to renovate in this house. It is in perfect condition as it is sold. And I mentioned the basement earlier on. The house is also fully waterproofed and the owner is very proud to say that there is no damp issues because I know when people hear basement, they immediately thinking damp. There is none of that here. It was built with the top quality materials and everything was done properly. I love the impression this leaves when you walk in. This is some serious entrance. I love the, what's it called, the staircase that they use? Cinderella staircase. Excuse me, Cinderella staircase, look at this. This is a huge table with Waiting a Waiting for the prince to come and buy the house. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're back into the entrance hall. So again, both opposite corners, there will be a beautiful room in each corner. This here is the study and it comes already with built-in cupboards. And from the study, you can access your third garage. And this garage is quite deep, but it's also extremely wide and it is fully tiled. So sometimes people who don't wanna use a third garage can use it also as a gym room or just an additional space. But already let's remember that we're talking of a 700 square meter house. So plenty of space here. And across the other end of the entrance, two more garages here, a really very luxurious looking guest toilet, 
I love the effect on the tiles that they've chosen, the stripes with the twirly bits and uh, the Swarovski crystal side table. It's, it's very cute and it's, uh, it's, it's very neat. I like right? it, yes. And people mentioned it's important to have uh, impressive guest toilet. So there you have it. And this here is the uh, formal lounge area, also with a crystal chandelier. And again, to mention, this is the two-sided fireplace. And uh, this is wood burning fireplace that heats both sides, uh, both lounge areas beautifully. And now we're ready to head up. And I'll try not to lose a shoe because uh, I think no prince is coming for my shoe. But I'm here already. <laughs> really nice chandelier. I love it. I think it's uh, uh, not only uh, uh, is it classy, but it's also a little bit playful. I imagine kids going up and down and just enjoying the space. And being upstairs, I think we start with the main bedroom because it is, of course, the most beautiful room and because it gives us an opportunity to present to you the stunning view that this house is all about. Look at that. Just what I thought I liked the downstairs area. Look at this. A cup of coffee in the morning or a glass of wine in the evening. Guys. And it's a covered balcony. So you see they've put some gym equipment here. Again, with a view like this, why not sit on your gym bike or whatever and you do a bit of exercise as well? and you get the fresh air. Now into the main bedroom. So this is the first bedroom we're seeing upstairs. It's, um, it's got laminated wooden floors. It has a balcony of its own. So you don't have to share with the general balcony. It has an aircon as well and an absolutely beautiful walk-in closet. I adore the size of the closet, the space for shoes. I think it's, uh, we don't often show closets in great detail, but you know, this closet just keeps on giving. This Hanging space, shoe space, everything is here. And right next to it is, of course, the ensuite bathroom. With the jacuzzi bath is really magnificent. Love it. So double bath, we don't get to see that often. And we have, of course, the shower, double basin, and the separate toilet. Very nice. Marusha, where do you keep finding all these gems? Well, this is our job, really. We need to focus on getting top quality properties. And I always love displaying those properties to the public. Just to point out, you could easily have fitted a, a lounge suite in that bedroom, it's big enough for that. Fair, fair, make it a proper suite, main bedroom suite. And now we're stepping into the second bedroom upstairs, the third that we've seen overall. And it's actually a mirror image of the main bedroom. So it also has a big balcony. It's also a massive bedroom. The bed uh, that we're looking at here is a king size bed and it's an extra large base. So you can imagine how much extra space you've got in that room if you could already fit the a desk and have space for a couch. And this bedroom is en suite as well. As well as every other bedroom in this house, really. I like the, the fact that they've done the bathrooms each in their own unique color. So the look and feel for each bedroom is also informed by the look and feel of the bathroom. So it gives it that uniqueness. So three bedrooms down, two to go. Two, three bedrooms down, but just a quick note, this is like a pyjama lounge area here. Depends how you want to furnish it, but I would ideally put a couch facing this way towards the wall, so I can maybe put a TV here or just create a little uh, kiddie playroom area here so you can tuck away all the toys and the Legos from, from the downstairs section. Okay, one more bedroom. Again, aircon. Important to note, very high ceilings in this house. So it gives you that extra space and volume, that experience of volume in the rooms. And then this one is en suite with a shower. And last bedroom, let's head 
on in to have a look. It's very bright and sunny. Very. Look also with an aircon. And even here, they've made sure that you have the experience of the golf course with this uh, cute Juliet balcony and a glimpse of the view. Nice. And of course, also with a walk-in closet and ensuite. These are one for one, very big bedrooms, walk-ins, as well as bathrooms. I like the touch that they had over there. Look at that. Very nice. And Blue Valley is really an absolutely great estate and it's very much underrated. So I think it will be great if more attention is given to Blue Valley because you have this incredible golf course, you have the parks, you have over a thousand houses, so you have the space for your family and children to grow into, but you also have the beauty and you are right in the middle, close to Centurion, close to Midrand, you're in the middle between uh, I would say 20 minutes to Santon, 20 minutes to Midstream, uh, or 20 minutes to Menlin Mall. So if you're into shopping, if you, if you are into restaurants, you've got it all within 20 minutes. Very underrated estate, worth looking into, especially if you're after buying a big family home. Because just as an example, this home here comes at just under 10,000 per square meter. And it's important to mention that because various other estates can sell upwards of 20 to 30,000 per square meter. And here you're having a home uh, in under 7 million and it is on the golf course on the 13th hole and um, you've got everything you need here. Stunning. I think with that, that's a very good summary. Marusha, guys, I think this is the stunner. It's value for money, timeless family home in Blue Valley Golf Estate. Look at this, you can, I can literally throw this camera, well, I wouldn't throw it, but I can <laughs> literally throw something over there. And I can see there's a, a path and a, yeah, lots of things to offer. Make sure to reach out to Marusha, her email and contact details are below. Any questions you have or request for a viewing, make sure to contact Marusha. Have an awesome, awesome afternoon.